Hello, everybody. Welcome to Review a Day, episode number 145. My name is Lou Brungard. Thank you guys so much for joining me because today I'm going to be reviewing Sunshine Cleaning, directed by Christine Jess. Uh, this flick stars Amy Adams, Emily Blunt, Alan Arkin, and Jason Spivak. And this is a movie about Amy Adams. She plays this uh, maid cleaning woman uh, for her life, for her profession. She goes and she cleans people's homes. And she's having an affair, or not an affair, but uh, her boyfriend from high school, who she still kind of sees, her boyfriend got married and he has kids and stuff. So they just kind of have this thing on the side. He ends up being a police officer and he says, hey, you know, you should... You should go into crime scene cleanup because you will make so much more money and you'll be doing the exact same thing you're doing now. So she starts her own business, uh, her and her sister, played by Emily Blunt. They get into this whole business of cleaning up dead people, uh, of not cleaning up dead people. The, the bodies are already gone, but cleaning up their blood uh, and whatever is left of the body, um, basically body fluids and stuff like that. Uh, this movie is, I'm going to say right off the bat, I loved it. You should go see this movie. It is, if you're sick of seeing, if you don't want to see Dragon Ball or you don't want to go see Fast and Furious, uh, there is a great alternative and it's it, it, and it's in Sunshine Cleaning. It's very sweet. The, the heart of this movie is in the right place. Uh, I really dug the relationship between Amy Adams and Emily Blunt in the film. They're two sisters and it's kind of about them reconnecting and what it is to be a sister and stuff like that. And uh, it has a lot to do with family. Alan Arkin plays their father, and he is very funny. He's playing the typical Alan Arkin character at this point. There's even a uh, Emily, uh, an Abigail Breslin type character in this film in uh, Jason Spivak, the young boy in the film. He does a great job, though. Uh, I've seen these types of films before. It's a little bit indie by numbers, I would even say. Uh, but it, it's, it's done well enough that it's like, you know, the formula works and I get why. So I would say this is a great film. You should, you should take your, you know, it's, it's the kind of movie you can take your mom to when she'll enjoy it. And it's, it's dark enough for everyone and it's funny and it's sweet. Uh, I have a couple things that I, I wasn't totally super warm about this film with though. Uh, I thought Amy Adams was good in the movie and I think she gives a very great, typical Amy Adams performance that we all know she can deliver. Uh, if you haven't seen Junebug, uh, her performance in that, which she was nominated for an Oscar, her performance in that is fantastic. It is so heartbreaking and so sweet and funny and everything. It was She was absolutely perfect in that film. I haven't seen Doubt yet, but I am very looking forward to seeing her in that. And she's good in, and she's very good in Sunshine Cleaning, I think. Uh, however, I do think she was miscast. Uh, and I didn't really think it until tw until the end of the film when there's this this bit of dialogue where she says, I'm good at getting men to want me, but I'm not good at keeping them. And I thought, you know, I don't buy that for a second because you're Amy Adams, you're America's sweetheart, and everyone in this entire audience wants to marry you. Uh, in that line, I thought maybe this part was kind of written as a bit of a sex pot, and I feel like had they cast someone kind of sluttier or someone who has an edge to them, maybe they're a bit harder. I feel like Amy Adams is so soft and sweet that I didn't buy that she was the kind of girl who could get guys to like her but not keep them because she's adorable and everyone wants to marry her. Uh, I do think that Emily Blunt walks away with this film. I think Emily Blunt is one of my favorite actresses right now. Uh, everything she's done has been so great and she is such a unique presence on film that you don't often get in female actresses, I don't think. Uh, I'm very sad that she is not going to be an Iron Man, and they replaced her with fucking Scarlett Johansson, who I can't stand. I am so far beyond Scarlett Johansson. It, is even, it, is, it isn't even funny. I do not like her in, about anything she's done. Emily Blunt is fantastic, and she's fantastic in this film. Uh, I really dug her character. There's a couple scenes in this movie still that I don't, I, I think, stand out and are kind of uh, a little weird, mild spoilers. There's a uh, kind of a semi-lesbian scene but, uh, with Emily Blunt and another character. And I thought, you know, maybe they just weren't trying to outright say this character's a lesbian and it was just kind of part of the story. And I was like, you know, that's kind of cool that they don't make a big deal about it, that it's just part of her character. But she's not a lesbian and, they, and nothing ever really came of that scene. And so I just, I didn't understand why it was in the film exactly. So, uh... That scene's kind of wonky, and then that, the fact that I didn't buy Emily, uh, Amy Adams as her character, it, it is still a great film, though, and it's, it's got a lot of really funny moments, it's very sweet, 
Um, I highly recommend this film. I do give Sunshine Cleaning a three and a half out of five. I think it is solid as solid gets. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Rate and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.